This video will be the muscles of the forearm or the antebrachium. I'm going to start right here on the thumb side. Remember the thumb is called the pollux. Right, so right here we've got uh, the flexor carpi radialis. This muscle here. If we keep moving, we've got the palmaris longus. So it's going to the palm. And sort of underneath or deep to those, you're going to find the flexor digitorum superficialis. So you can see that both here and here. If we keep moving along to the side, toward the pinky now, we're going to find the flexor carpi ulnaris. Because on the pinky side, remember, is the ulna. Keep moving uh, up toward the elbow here, we've got the Anconius. And on the uh, rest of the forearm, here we have the extensor carpi ulnaris. So I'm hoping to extend the wrist on the pinky side. This muscle here would be the extensor digitorum, going to the digits. We follow the tendons. These two here, this one is the extensor carpi radialis brevis, and this one is the extensor carpi radialis longus. So we're talking about the length of the tendon, not necessarily the length of the muscle itself. These two down closer to the wrist, uh, this one right here would be called the extensor pollicis brevis. So you see how it's going to the thumb, again the thumb is the pollux. Uh, and this one right here is the abductor pollicis longus. If we keep moving, all right, here is called the brachioradialis. So it's going from the brachium to the radial side, brachioradialis. And on the inner part, we have what's called the pronator caries. So deep to these two, you can actually find the supinator muscle. That's the other model here where the brachioradialis is removed. So here is the supinator muscle. Here is that pronator from before. That, well, those are both pronator teres. This muscle right here is the supinator.